what are some of the most common mistakes new anglers or rookie anglers make. We're going to talk about it. So today we're going to talk about some common mistakes rookie or new anglers make when just getting into the outdoors. But before I do that, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that like button. It helps the channel and hopefully this video helps you catch more fish. So to start off, one of the most common things I think most new anglers make is that they get the wrong tackle to start off. And by that, I mean, it's not only rods and reels and line. I think it's the stuff that you're using. I think there's an important, uh, it's important to, to keep it as simple as possible. I know that sounds weird. Like uh, the office said, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Great advice, hurts my feelings every time. That's what we need to do. So when you go out there and you're looking for a rod and a reel and a line, the first thing you need to realize is that if you're new to fishing, a bait caster isn't going to make your life easy. Here's why. You get backlashes. You get uh, line memory from line and things like that. And it isn't the easiest thing to learn. I think if you're going to start off, a good thing is to get a spinning rod. And also get a rod that is is one piece. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with two piece rods, but I think that if you have a rod that has a medium fast action and is not a complete bendable rod, you're going to do better. Here's why. A one piece is a little more sensitive uh, and that faster action, a little stiffer rod, while it's going to be a challenge for you at casting to start off with, you'll be able to feel the rod, you'll be able to feel the bites better. But we'll talk about line is very important. If you have the opportunity to have someone spool your line, do it. Uh, most people are gonna start off using mono and mono has memory. And you don't wanna go fishing and just have a bundle of line every time you cast. So having a professional spool your line or reel is very important to start off with. So let's talk about tackle because I think I think tackle is the one thing I see m more and more people make mistakes with. I wouldn't expect you if you're a new angler to be able to, to swim a glide bait. I wouldn't expect you to be able to even use a Cinco. I think that as you learn and you progress into the industry and in fishing that you can transition yourself from easy lures to more advanced lures. I think that a chatterbait's a great option for you to use. A chatterbait you can just cast and reel it in and it'll catch fish. I also think a shallow water crankbait or some sort of crankbait is a great bait to use also. It's tuned properly, it just needs to be cast and you just need to reel it in. Again, it's about keeping it simple because if you're not out there catching fish, which is gonna be a lot of times you're going to grow impatient but you're also going to be you're you're going to find yourself not enjoying being outside i know it's i know it's weird to say when i take my son fishing i always make sure that i'm using something that i know not only will he catch fish but i will catch fish if you've got a young uh, someone that's young having them entertained and keeping them busy will allow them to love what we love, the outdoors and fishing. Next, one of the key things that I see most beginning anglers make is they find a great pond that they would like to go fish, but they cast in the wrong spots. Here's what you need to remember. There's ambush spots all over this pond. You've scouted it out, you know as much as you can, you know you can fish it, but your first cast you make is in the middle. No, don't do it. Most fish, or not most fish, but 
the better opportunity for you to catch more fish are going to be on the edges or in spots where there are ambush points. So casting in the middle, while you will catch fish in the middle, you're going to find out that the ambush points are more on the edge. Now if you're in a boat, that's a completely different situation, but you're a new fisherman. You're not buying a boat before you, uh, you learn how to fish. So you're bank fishing like I do. So one of the key things that I think that you should do better is try to hit those angles, those edges, those 10 to 15 feet off the shoreline and just work that around the pond. You'll find yourself finding more bass and you'll find yourself getting more strikes. I think that more and more people that I see starting into the industry don't know how to tie a knot properly. Now there's plenty of places online on YouTube on how to tie a knot. So I personally tie a polymer knot probably 90% of the time. If I'm, I'm using a, a top water lure, I tie a loop knot uh, just to get a little bit more action in the, in the bait. But to start off, it's really important that you go on YouTube or go someplace and learn how to tie a knot properly. This is gonna help you uh, start off on a, a better learning curve. Now, the next one might be a little bit up and down. I prefer to fish in the mornings or at dusk. I'm not saying you can't catch or I haven't caught giant fish in the middle of the day. But when the sun is up, I always feel like the fish can see a little bit better. Now, at morning and at dusk, that light isn't right on top of them. It's horizontal with them at sometimes. So while you can catch them in the middle of the day, I think you're going to find out that you'll do much better if you fish in the morning or at dusk. And that is tip. That's the next tip. One of the things I see nonstop is that new anglers don't have a pair of good sunglasses. Uh, this is a tough one. This, there's two in one here. It's about paying attention to your surroundings, but also keeping an eye on what's going on in the water or on the water. And that's where a good pair of sunglasses are extremely effective and pretty much downright, it's one of the most important things you can have. A good pair of sunglasses that are polarized properly, that are not polarized side to side, they're polarized up and down. Uh, sunglasses that you can see through the water. Now you're gonna start off fishing and in there, there's a good chance that you're not gonna be able to see anything. You're not gonna know what you're looking for and that's understandable. The more time you spend on the water, the more time you're going to see the fish. You'll see them start off when they're right in front of you by a shadow or the tail or something like that or a movement and then slowly but surely you're going to be able to see fish from 10, 20, 30 feet away. But having a good pair of sunglasses and say what you will, you can pick whichever ones you want. I'm a Costa fan. I've been a Costa fan for 15 years. I think if you can purchase a good pair of sunglasses that are polarized properly, you're going to not only see the fish, but it'll help you catch fish. Now the paying attention part of this is that I think a lot of times, a lot of people, new people, just like to watch where they're cast and reel it in. They're not keeping an eye on what's going on. They're tunnel focused. They're horse racing. I guess that's the best way to put it. But you need to keep an eye out on what's happening around you. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a fish on the shoreline just bust or bait skipping out of the water and something's obviously chasing it. Make a cast near that spot and catch a fish. I mean, it's happened nonstop. I was fishing the bank one day and out of nowhere, 15 feet in front of me, I saw a nice sized bass come up and swirl up at bait that was ch being chased on the top of the water. I cast right in that spot and caught a fish. So when you're out there, pay attention to your surroundings. 
because that will help you catch fish. The goal here is to make it as easy as possible so that when you do go fishing for the first time that you're not only ready to fish, that you have the good opportunity to catch fish and that you have as little mistakes and rookie mistakes as possible. Hope this helps you. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Let's hope that you go out there, catch some fish, enjoy the outdoors, and enjoy what God's created for us. So, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Sweating. I'm in the garage. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um, kids fishing. Pfft.